Alright, what's going on everybody? This is KJ, and I am here to give you my ISL Week 5 team builder. We are facing Jay Castron. Uh, he is currently 1-2, and two, I believe. He still has to play his Week 4 match because he needed an extension, but that's, that's fine. That'll get done eventually. Um, and yeah, so he's rocking a, a team of Mega Diancy, Salamence, Silvali, Swampert, Gallade, uh, regular Gallade, <laughs> um, Runarigus, Toracat, Scizor, Charizard, Rotomo, and Sharpedo. So immediately, Scizor is very scary. Um, Salamence is also very scary, especially we've been we've been struggling with. Uh, Dragons and slash setup or Dragon Dance setup sweepers the last uh, two weeks. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, looking to get past that and get back on get back on the ball. Uh, so I'll get to the team quick because we're going to be playing fairly shortly. Uh, so none of his mons, other than his Mega, have speed over base. 100. So we are going with Scarfictini with Final Gambit. Uh, the idea here is we'll be able to nuke something at some point. Um, but yeah, max HP and just kind of going from there. We've got Bolt Strike and Bolt Strike for coverage and U-turn. Obviously Victini with V-Create. Next we got the Mega Gallade. Again, Justified. I uh, want to make sure that we at worst speed tie with the Mega Diancy. Um, we're running Ice Punch for coverage on the uh, Salamence, and on the Salamence, and the Rotom Mo, uh, and the Runarigus. We've got Leaf Blade for the Swampert and the Runarigus, uh, and the Diancy. Rocking Close Combat for Stab, and the Rock Tomb for the potential Charizard. So, and Tora Cat, it hits. And it'll be interesting to see if he brings Silvalli, what kind of Silvalli he brings. I know he's brought Silvalli normal a few times, so uh, Close Combat will cover that if he does bring it. But maybe Silvalli Ghost. Maybe that, that will come. That's an interesting... If he doesn't bring Rurigus, maybe Silvalli Ghost. All right, we'll keep going. Uh, Superior, we will not miss another damn Leaf Storm. It won't happen. And if it does, I already said I'm quitting Mons. 99% accuracy leaf storm mist that would be awful but yeah ride wide lens superior uh contrary you get dragon pulse for the coverage on the uh the coverage on both the charizard and the salamence so obviously it's not doing a whole bunch to charizard but if we got to plus six then it would be doing quite quite some damage um we have enough speed to outspeed the Mega Diancy. Yeah. And then Rock and Glare and Defog, just, just in case he brings hazards. He might bring hazards with, like, Swampert, so. We got Life Orb Coco now, uh, Iron Head, Oko's, anything that isn't, like, full max max defense uh, Diancy. So, or Mega Diancy. So that's, that's really interesting. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot. And Volt Switch for coverage hits pretty much the rest of the team. So, pretty standard Coco. Uh, again, enough speed to outspeed Mega Diancy. And then we got what I think is going to be like the glue to the team this week the Vaporeon. So, the Vaporeon lives, actually lives a modest uh, max special attack Leaf Storm from uh, Rotom Mo, assuming he's not Nasty Plot, which is good. And then. This week we're rocking Ice Beam and Scald, uh, just because they hit thing. They hit a good amount of his team. We got Haze for potential setup, and Yawn. That's kind of that's kind of it. Like if we need to come in and haze up on something, then we can. That'll be that'll be good. And then the last but last but not least, we got uh, Sheer Force Assault Vest Dredagon, and I think this is gonna do a lot of work. Um, Dredagon lives so much with an assault vest it lives a moon blast from the uh lives a moon blast from the um mega dancy lives a draco meteor from specs 
uh, from Spex Salamence, that's the name. And it also is living like an adamant dragon claw. Yeah, these these calcs are just ridiculous. Dredagon. Uh, Salamence, like if he's, we'll just say, and actually, I should import my team into the calculator. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to have to re refresh. That's fine. Uh, Drud. Custom set. Uh, and then we got the Salamence running. Dragon Claw. Yeah, like we're living, we're living a an adamant Dragon Claw from Salamence. So if he gets the plus one, that would be unfortunate. But uh, just in general, like this calc is crazy. Uh, and if he opts for Moxie over the like this, this was basically to say, okay, like I don't think he's gonna do this, but if if he does, then okay like if he ran scarf i i could see him running like scarf mixed uh salamence because that could do some good like some good damage to my team but yeah all in all this is the squad uh we're playing like i said very soon and so yeah i, I hope to get a win and get to three and two but we'll see what happens all right peace all right so we are back with our isl Week five match uh, against the JCK and, or Jay Castron. I don't. He he's gone by both. But anyway, uh, good coach. He made playoffs in the ISL season two beginners last season uh, with some very very interesting mons. I mean, he had he he played Zerora and Lucario incredibly well. So I was I was definitely scared of what he was going to do with the team that he has. Um, the good thing was that his team was relatively slow, or is relatively slow, with Megadianti being his highest speed at 110, and that can't be Scarved, and then the next highest being Charizard, which you do see that he brought, as well as uh, Salamence. So yeah, a little bit scared of that, but saw the team. you guys saw the team already, so let's get into it. Um, so starting off... I figured, okay, I'll lead Coco here. Let's see what let's see what he does. At, at most, I can scout. So he leads Rotom and Volt switches, which and goes first, which immediately tells me he is scarved. So I also Volt switched, and I did a ton of damage. So I know he's offensive Scizor, and I go into Gallade because honestly, like there's not too many things that are are gonna be touching Gallade here. And he clicks U-turn, and it's actually fast with me. So I've seen now Scarf. Of both the both of Scizor and uh, Scizor and Rotom, and I actually want to talk about the play there because I, I I let that go by a little too fast. But my thought process was that I expected him to hard switch, and so just looking at his team, the Rock Tomb hits everything on his team reasonably well. Uh, and I had coverage for everything else. So, I click Rock Tomb there. If he goes into Charizard, it Oko's. Unless he's Charty Berry. If he goes into anything else, it drops the speed of the Mons. And so, I know that Gallade can then claim a kill. Uh, because I know at this point, Scizor and... I knew, I knew that Scizor... Well, I didn't know that Scizor was Garved. But I knew that Scizor couldn't take two hits... And I knew that he couldn't then also uh, Oko, or two hit KO Gallade, or Oko Gallade at that point. So I figured, all right, I'm, I'm in a good spot. So I, that's why I just clicked Rock Tomb. Uh, if Mence comes in, it takes big damage, and I have Ice Punch. If the Rotom comes in, again, I have Ice Punch. I have Close Combat for the Sharpedo. I have Leaf Blade for the Deancey, and then I have the rock tomb for charizard in case he wished charlie berry so all in all i think that was the right play um but it definitely was a read that put me in a very good position 
All right, let's continue on. So he goes back into Scizor, and then he doubles into Deancey as I double into Vaporeon. So I definitely like that switch. And at this point, I figure I'd just go for the Skull. If I get a burn, that's nice. If not, whatever. Expecting a Leaf Storm here, I go into Victini, which he does go for. So that's good. And this is Scarf, Victini, Scarf Final Gambit Victini, just a reminder. Uh, but at this point, I knew I still had enough damage to... Or enough help to do some damage with Final Gambit. But I go for the U-turn, I get Superior in. And I was a little surprised that he let the Sharpedo go down to Superior. But yeah, so at this point, I don't really have anything to lose. He actually tricks a Choice Scarf and takes my Wide Lens. So I was a little sad about that. But I'm just going to click Leaf Storm here because... If it hits, then I'm in a good spot. And so, yeah, you can see he actually said I predicted the sub. So that was pretty huge because now Superior is scarved and at plus four. But doing the calcs, it didn't. It just didn't look good um, for Superior, and especially if he was like a mixed, a mixed set. Uh, and so here, I just go for the Ice Beam, and Vaporeon eats this. We're pretty defensive. I click Scald there because it covers the Deancey switch in, and I actually get the burn on Salamence. I'm very apologetic of that, but at this point, I think I was in a very good spot, especially because Scizor is choiced. Uh, so, get the kill on the Salamence, and now I'm in a situation where Deancey comes in, and I just keep clicking Scald. I was surprised to see Calm Mind here. <laughs> um... And so I do big damage there. And at this point, I'm just thinking, if he does kill me, then I just go into the uh, Victini. But I actually get a crit here, which never feels good. Um, he should he should have been able to kill Vaporeon there. And I wasn't actually thinking here. It could have been a 6-0. Uh, but if I would have just switched into Dredagon, because I knew he was choiced. But... It's all good. Uh, we get the 5-0. Dredagon gets knocked off here. And then we return the kill with uh, Fire Punch. So all in all, yeah. it um, Taking away hacks. <laughs> taking away hacks, it should have probably been a 4 or a 5-0. But also, if on the flip side of that, after hacks, in things that could have been controlled... If I would have just switched into Dredagon and saved Vaporeon, then... Or I could have switched into to Dredagon or into... I probably could have also switched into the uh, Superior. But again, all in all, very good game. Uh, it feels good to get confidence back with that one. Um, and again, JCK's team is incredibly scary. I know he's a great coach. Uh... We're moving to three and two. I I think he is one and four, but I have no no doubts that he can still make a comeback. Uh, I was talking to him, and he might change some things up on his team. So really excited to see that. But yeah, we are moving to again three and two with a I believe plus two differential now. No. Um, maybe plus two. I don't remember. I might have. I might have even said the wrong differential in the last video. But anyway, that is again besides the point. Where we're in a, a decent spot, and unfortunately we do, or I guess fortunately, unfortunately, whatever we do get to play uh, Lambo next week. So that'll be a fun match. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, he's currently undefeated, so. We'll see what happens there, but I think he plays, I think he's playing uh, first night don't count sometime later on tonight. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, Lambo will at least have four wins and yes, yeah, size, size spam is scary. So we'll have, we'll have to figure something out for that, but all right. So thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, I will link the 
game of the week analysis in the description. And if you like the content, please click the like button, click subscribe. I do plan on eventually having like a more official layout and things, but I'm still working on that. Um, slash might need to enlist somebody to help out with that. But yeah, um, thanks for watching and I really appreciate it. Peace.